Okay, so city season is upon us with transfer rumours off the charts. Let's take a break from the World Cup for a minute and look at every Premier League club and the players they've been linked with early doors this summer. And yes, I'm fully aware that 80% of this will most likely be absolute rubbish, written by some lazy journalist hack on his coffee break. Arsenal, Maran Fellaini. Ever since Fabregas slapped a pizza into an old man's face 14 years ago, Manchester United have been bullying Arsenal to give them their best players, while offering them the likes of Mikel Sylvester in return. You'd imagine if the rumours are true and Maran Fellaini does end up signing for Arsenal, a player who some fans used as a stick to beat Manchester United with. They knew they couldn't play football between us, so they had to go long ball. For fucking Sideshow Bob. For fucking Sideshow Bob. Even after he'd scored a last minute winner against them in April, the internet would probably explode in a burst of Twitter expletives. You can understand Arsenal wanting an aerial threat for plan B, but didn't they already sell that to Chelsea? Bournemouth, Lucas Fabianski. Lucas Fabianski has already said his goodbyes at Swansea. If a multi billionaire cries on the final day of the season upon relegation, it's probably because he's sickened about having to pack the bags and sell the house. Jack will be next, you'll see. Swansea have already rejected a bid from West Ham, but Bournemouth have also been linked. Surprisingly, considering Asmer Begovic is a fine keeper, Brighton. Paddy McNair. Now this is actually a firm link, considering Brighton have actually already bid £2 million to prize Paddy McNair away from Sunderland's cold dead grip, but just like a corpse clutching onto their diamond pearls as they're lowered into their League 2 coffin, they're not giving him up without a fight. Considering he'll be playing Accrington Stanley and Luton Town next season otherwise, I'd say he's praying they'll just let him go. Burnley, Jay Rodriguez. Jay Rodriguez is linked with a £20 million move to a club playing European football. What is this, 2014? And here was me thinking this was a man whose career was left on that surgeon's table. Let's be clear, Rodriguez is not the player he was when he fired 17 goals for Southampton during the 13-14 season and looked odds on for a World Cup spot. 11 and 42 did not keep West Brom up. He was decent for the baggies, but 20 million? Really? Cardiff, James McLean. James McLean will be doing very well if he manages to claw himself back into the Premier League for August. After a catastrophic season last time out, he's been inexplicably linked with a move to Wales. But then again, it's not as if Neil Warnock hasn't left his brain in his cornflakes when making decisions before, such as signing the LH Juff about 20 minutes after calling him a sewer rat. Although for Neil, that's probably just a term of endearment. Chelsea, Jack Butland. Chelsea seem to have resigned themselves to Thibaut Courtois' exit now that they're stuck in the Europa League this season, and the papers seem to think they'll be returning for Jack Butland, despite the Stoke keeper having rejected them about six years ago. Good decision, Jack, considering he would have just ended up being the next Ross Turnbull, who I think is scrubbing the toilets and TGIs these days. Crystal Palace, Hiroki Sakai. Crystal Palace need a centre forward, I feel like I've been saying that for the last five years, but still, apparently they're interested in £12 million Marseille defender Hiroki Sakai, which sounds like a type of lentil soup. Everton, William Carvalho. When William Carvalho eventually does get his move to England, I hope he turns out to be worth all the hype. He's reminding me of all that clamour from Manuel Fernandes, only for him to turn out to be a damn squib. After West Ham balls up his transfer last summer, Everton looked to be the ones in talks with Sporting Lisbon this summer. Marco Silva might have more luck using his Portuguese connections than, well, the lads who don't even know what their own players look like. Fulham, Alexander Mitrovic. Well, this one is obvious, it's Alexander Mitrovic. Having returned to Newcastle following the expiration of his loan deal, Fulham have been linked with a permanent move for the Serbian. Out of every name in this list, this is the most likely deal. Huddersfield, Andrei Silva. Andrei Silva at Huddersfield Town. Who writes this? According to reports in Italy, David Wagner wants the AC Milan forward at the club. The AC Milan forward who costs £33 million. How do they expect to pay that? Are they just going to eat dirt and shower in the toilets for the next 12 months? Wolves and Monaco have also been linked. Leicester City, Jack Grealish. Surprise, Jack Grealish isn't at the World Cup this summer. Thought he had that old international career planned out from day one. Now, to be fair, the former Ireland underage international has had a great season for Aston Villa, but thanks to the club being plunged into financial insecurity, he could be flogged for as little as 20 million. Leicester are just one of the teams interested, supposedly. Liverpool, Nabil Fakir. Well, this one actually has a bit of substance to it. Reports have claimed that Liverpool have agreed a 44 million pound deal with Leon for Nabil Fakir. Leon have denied this. Who to believe? Man City, Jorginho. Jorginho seems to be the main one here, with Napoli apparently asking for £60 million for the eight-cap Italy international. It seems that whenever Man City wants a player, the selling club seems to shake them down for every last penny. The likes of Mario Lamina and Matteo Kovacic have also been linked. Oh, and Riyad Mahrez, obviously, who will probably still be getting linked to them when he's 85 years old and stuck in a wheelchair. Man United, Toby Alderweireld. Toby Alderweireld seems to be the latest star at Tottenham to be getting tired of Daniel Levy's penny-pinching, and Man United are reportedly ready to take advantage. Could Chris Smalling's summer get any worse? Newcastle, Baz Dost. Alright, we all know this one is nonsense. Baz Dost, the man who has scored 61 goals in 61 games for Sporting Lisbon, is linked to Newcastle on a free transfer, because things in life are just that easy. Yes, 27 goals last season was incredible, but settle down, Jordies, because remember the last guy to score 27 goals in a season for Sporting? Southampton, Jordan Shakiri. 
There are some former Stoke players that Mark Hughes wouldn't touch with a six foot barge pole, but Jordan Shakiri is not one of them. He might as well walk around Russia this summer with a come and rescue me from Stoke sign stapled to his forehead. Southampton have been accredited with an interest, he could probably do better. Tottenham, Wilfred Zaha. Well, this is a rumour that is already dead in the water. Tottenham seem to have been interested in Wilfred Zaha for years, but Crystal Palace's £70 million valuation of the winger has scared them away. For a good reason, £70 million, that's £10 million less than what Ronaldo cost. Zaha is a good player and all, but you'd expect a 25-year-old forward who's worth £70 million to have at least scored double digits in the Premier League season before. Watford, Adam Messina. Everton and Watford are two clubs that seem to absolutely despise each other right now, and after spending last season haggling over the same manager, look to be fighting over the same player this time out. Good lord. West Ham, Philippe Anderson. Just West Ham being typical West Ham. Aiming their sights high on the likes of Javier Pastore, Philippe Anderson, before having to settle for Darren Gibson on a free on transfer deadline day. Wolves, Joe Cancelo. Surely this is all going to come crashing down around their ankles and ending in tears, no? The Portuguese revolution rumbles on, with Jorge Mendes reportedly trying to push through a move for Valencia's £35 million rated right back, Joe Cancelo, while less fashionable Benica Fobi gets flogged to Stoke about six days after signing on a permanent deal. Hope you didn't put a deposit down on a house, Benic. 